So we've got that. Now all we need to set off, as far as I'm aware, is a stamped letter from the notary, which we will be stamping ourselves because the notary is resting. So I'm sure he would agree if he wasn't. Um, we've got oh, telephone call. Hello? Kate? Is that you? Well, yeah, who did you think it was? Uh, I didn't recognize your voice, that's all. Must be the distance or something. So, spill the beans. What's Europe like? You lucky lady, you. Honestly, I never get that kind of break. Well, so far all I've seen of Europe is this tiny village, and frankly, they're not very hospitable. Uh, the whole case is getting really complicated. There's this surprise air I've got to find. Josh and she had coffee with the head honcho this morning. He didn't sound at all happy. The client's meeting him tomorrow, and when Marston tells him that the sale's not even gone through yet, whoa, you're gonna be pleased you're on the other side of the ocean when that bomb goes off. Yeah, I get the picture. But so, how about yourself? What's up at work? We lost the Sarah Lou trial. I worked five months on that dumb case. I remember. So, for a bit of therapy, I went to Boomies. The sale started yesterday. Wow, lucky. It was absolutely crazy, Katie. Absolute mayhem. You know that blue silk top I wanted? Guess how much I got it for. I don't know. 250 200 $140. <laughs> Just get yourself back here and I'll go down with you. <laughs> like it's my choice. Look, I gotta go. Call me soon, huh? I want a blow-by-blow blow account of every moment of your great adventure. Get out of here. Look after yourself. You too. Yeah, I will. Guess that was one of our friends slash colleagues. Uh, just highlighting how different our life at the moment is. And the fact that we really want to get back to New York, but we also really want to get this case solved. I would love to be near a forest like this, go for hikes. Right, so as I was saying, we've got the letter to have, like we need to get a stamp on the letter. Uh, we have got the mammoth doll now that we just picked that up. And uh, we earlier we picked up the machine that reads the voice cylinders and placed that in the train. Uh, we've got our train ticket, so really all we need is that stamp and then we can set off on our journey to wherever nobody seems to know where but eventually probably siberia where hans was last tracked to last spotted um the train release permit so that is the uh document that needs to be stamped by the notary stamp Uh, some ink in. Uh, stamped. And nobody will know what happened. Surely this is all legal.
the train station. I think if you don't get all of the necessary components, you can keep asking Oscar about them and he'll he'll give you hints on on oh you need this or you need that. This way saves me a bit of backtracking. We'll talk to Oscar first, see if he says anything about the mammoth bowl missing, for example. Mm. Yeah, we need to give him our ticket. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. Why don't you want to take my ticket? I must abide by regulations, Kate Walker. Not all departure conditions have been fulfilled. I must confirm your departure release. You can be a real stickler for the rules, Oscar, my old fellow. So, do I need to give him the release form first? Here. This is your stupid train release ratification, Oscar. Thank you, Kate Walker. That is perfect. I conveniently left out that I stamped it myself. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. I don't understand why we can't leave. I'd hate to think it's me that's delaying the train like this. I do not wish to appear impolite, Kate Walker, but I am afraid that not all departure conditions have been fulfilled. If that's a joke, Oscar, it's not very funny. I really need to find Hans Vorlberg as quickly as possible. I have strict instructions to obey. There are three spaces in the luggage compartment that are designed to accommodate two very important objects. The train can only depart when they are in place. Please excuse me now. I must return to my departure preparations. Oh, I wouldn't want to break any rules. <laughs> yeah, so th that is basically him saying, um, as per the letter that uh, Anna sent to, or was going to send to Hans, that you need the mammoth doll uh, and the voice cylinder machine and a, and a voice cylinder. Um, so I'm going to just put the mammoth doll down now. And then he should accept my ticket. Oh, this is cute. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. No. Keep it. I don't understand why you're still refusing to take this ticket. Everything is in order, and an engineer prides himself. <laughs> On punctuality. Yes, Oscar, I remember. But what now? But what's up, Oscar? Why haven't you returned to your engine room? If I may be so bold as to express a personal opinion on this matter, Kate Walker? I'm all ears, Oscar. I fear we have omitted to wind up the locomotive springs. Is that all? Then let's do it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> I'm afraid I have no notion of how to implement this function, Kate Walker. It would seem that the makeshift completion of my production process is responsible for a lack of instruction on this matter. Okay, right. I'll see to that myself, then. I mean... A wind-up train can't be that complicated. You, wait there. I won't be long. Thank you, Kate Walker. After all, I operated a factory today. Too bad there's no young kid I can ask to do it for me this time. I did see something when I checked earlier, the front of the train. Yeah, there's a machine here. 
I'm guessing he first needs to use the... Turn the handle. There we go. The traditional world bird key, of course. Why wouldn't a train need that? Put that back away. And I think at the last, finally, we can set off on our journey to find Hans Vorlberg. Oh. Kate, it's me again. Dan, I was going to call you. Yeah, yeah. Are you mad at me? I've just called Marson and Lorma. They told me you weren't expected to return this week. Oh, yeah. So when are you coming home? I don't know. There's nothing I can do about it. The situation is kind of tricky, you know. At the beginning of next week, I hope. Yeah, whenever. Dan, please. Just hang in there, okay? The stakes are higher than I thought. And you know how much I love this job. I suppose it's neither here nor anywhere to you that the Goldbergs are going to... It is. I mean, it isn't. I mean, Dan, this really isn't the moment. You know I'm thinking about you. I love you, sweetheart, and I'll give you a call when I have some news. Promise. I've got to go now. I've got kind of a, a train to catch. A train? Where are you off to now? This is crazy, Kate. To tell you the truth, I've no idea. Love you, honey. You know that. Kate! Personally, I think he's being a bit of a, a dick. Uh, it's her job. He called the office. They said she needs to stay there longer. It's not like she's lying to him. So, I don't understand why he's so angry about that. But, that's just me. <laughs> Ticket, please. Right, everything is in order then. The train is finally ready to leave. I am most terribly embarrassed. Such ignorance on my part is inadmissible. I hope you still have confidence in my abilities, Kate Walker. Please, return to your seat and we can leave. Finally, 